Right. So honestly, I think a lot of people are on PTO. So this is just going to be us today. Um, I'll start with the short topic I have, which is the 158 release. Currently, we only have an RC that, that was used for uh, for development purposes, but I want to make like a real uh, 58 release with notes and everything. So I was uh, thinking that there are no more pending PRs. Uh, I can even open it. I don't see anything that needs to get in and backport or something like that. So to me, it makes sense to cut the release today. And yeah, I was just going to ask for objections if anyone has some. Right, so I will proceed with the release today and there should be an email later today. And it's like a super interesting topic. Um, do you wanna go maybe? I can even yeah. open. Yeah, of course. Hey, I just want to share that I just published uh, an article about how we preparing the CSI driver. I know that someone already doing that for um, camo storage daemon. And this is our approach, which is not ready yet, but there are a lot of interesting information. Uh, we are going to build uh, our own uh, CSI driver for KubeWeird especially for our virtualization platform, but it consumes, it utilizes KubeWeird. So I think it will work also for KubeWeird. This article is more about approach, about technologies we considered, and I think it might be pretty much interesting. Yeah, it looks super interesting. Definitely on my read list. Thank you. I just wanted to share it with the community. Mm -hmm. Cool. Awesome. Nice. Uh, does anyone have any questions? I know uh, Adam was a little more involved in the uh, QMU storage daemon efforts, but I'm not sure uh, if somebody ended up picking it up or not. Yeah, I saw this uh, implementation. It is uh, quite similar, but still different. He was trying to use file system. The main uh, reason here is to utilize shared uh, loon. So mm -hmm. the, storage, the storage can be shared between the nodes and difficulties, difficulties uh, connected to that. And like how yeah. to implement read write many snapshots and so on. Yep. This is and very is... cool. I can't wait wait to, to read this. Thanks for sharing. Is the driver public, by the way? It's not prepared yet. Um, okay. Actually, we don't even started to work on that. So only design prepared for that. I'm uh architect of this design. I'm not sure about uh, implementation. So this article is more about technologies uh, more than uh, implementation. Yep, makes sense. Yeah, it's a tough thing to architect. Okay, cool. Yeah, um, even the shared sand part is kind of interesting. I think we're seeing a lot of, um, we're seeing some people that want to just somehow have yeah a shared uh volume on a sand be used by multiple nodes and create um disks that way very cool cool so unless anyone wants to um uh, kind of go on open floor we will uh jump into the CDI issues. 
and see uh, if anything is interesting from the last meeting. Right, so we left off at um, 29.82. And that is this one. Crafting a tarball with top level relative links will fail. Also, oh, right. Oh, yeah, I remember this one. So, archive content type and um, hits a permission issue. Um, can I find the actual error? I think I asked for it. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, these two um, will appear whenever you're trying to restore the permissions on the directory. And with the links, I think it's trying to do that precisely. It's uh, trying to restore, like, I don't think CDI ever sets this. It's trying to restore something that was uh, true only for the region machine. And the U time is about setting the time on the same files, I'm guessing. And that also fails due to permissions. Do we know what uh, what drivers? It's not like a weird like uh, like NFS um, uh, per provisioner like no FS group kind of problem. Yeah, no, uh, I don't think there's an FS problem um, because the author says that they tried it. They tried uh, making the tar without uh, links, with absolute links, rather. So using the asterisk, it ju it'll just grab the direct files. And that way it works. So I'm assuming on the FS group side, things should be working. But I don't see a storage class name here. Yeah, I can ask for it, but um, I don't. Okay, yeah, Rooksef, nice. So that definitely supports FS Group. And it works on versions where uh, we don't have non root workloads. So I think what I suggested here is to overload the tar command, the untar command with uh, these two. I'm I'm kind of surprised it's not the default. Like for non-root, at least I would expect these things to be default and not fail the operation because of them. Um, yeah. So it's a very simple fix. Uh, if this ends up being it. Mm, I guess for this meeting, as, um, we can just assign this. So don't have to make a final decision yet. So I'll just go ahead and assign it to myself. And we have go to QCal2 format file to data volume convert to row format, which is basically 
different than how we decided people should do things in the platform. Um, we have envision to use this. Okay. So I am actually not very knowledgeable about the libvirt snapshots, but if I understand correctly, we simply made a decision not to use them and instead use the underlying storage. Snapshot. Yeah, I mean, so yeah, I mean, we wanted to make all the storage operations be Kubernetes native. Um, you know, this seems like someone that may be uh, very interested in the uh, um, KVAP's uh, CSI driver when it's ready. Um, yeah, it's the the Kubevert Razor. You know, do use the Kubernetes native. Um, method if available. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I'll link the razor here and find it quickly. So it's in a keyboard somewhere, right? Nice. First try. Yeah, I mean, well, so actually, hold on. The memory snapshots are, I think, a little different than the persistence snapshots. Um, but okay, yeah, this is that. That's kind of. That, I don't think those are the memory. Those aren't the memory snapshots. Let me ask that. You may also want to refer them to the VM snapshot restore API. Um, yeah. If they don't know about it already. I am so lucky. If I remember it correct. Uh, you can make a memory snapshot and save it on separate file and then restore virtual machine from this separate file. But uh, it is not implemented in Qvirt yet. So I think I'll go ahead and post that. Um, should I add anything? Should I add the, the issue for uh, what you just mentioned? Maybe. Oh, I'm actually not familiar with it. Well, I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, I can try to comment on this issue. Please add your comment and I will add my own later. Sure. 
Okay, so I think we're done with this one for today. And we only have the last one here left. So documenting the make targets. Mm -hmm. So building for a different architecture. Um, I wonder how we, I, I know we have the lane that does it. That's what I would look up, but definitely we don't have anybody doing it themselves. So yeah, the issue makes sense, I think. But is this just about other architectures? Or I would hope we're documenting everything else, like the storage, um, storage that gets deployed into the CI uh, environment and stuff. I would hope that's documented. Let's see. Uh, markdown. Yeah, that's documented. Question is if I can refer them to this, since I already see at least this, this is no longer true. That seems out of date. Yeah. Actually, I think, I think these work. Like the what, what thing is, uh, tells you what to test directory for tests and images, verbosity. I think all of these actually work today. Yeah. Um, should I also maybe look up the lane that builds the arm? Um, Images, or is that well hidden somewhere? I can try looking up the PR. I think this is it. I mean, I just want to help the author unblock. That's my thinking. Mm, okay. So we definitely want to add build arch to the doc and refresh it. Right. I think that's more or less enough. Um, that again.
and the dock was at here. And that's not what I wanted to achieve. Yep. Okay, so I think we're done with this one. Definitely things need to happen to uh, to have a clear documentation around building for different architecture. Um, I'll, I'll pop into the issues again and sort them. See if anyone is waiting for um, for some updates, anything like that. So this went stale. What's this about? Bad certificates. Okay, so we don't have since August, we don't have a reply from the author, so I, I'll leave this stale. Okay. This is dated last week. Oh, so they still want this uh, configurable here. And I think Michael dropped. I can't remember. I can't remember if they convinced us with the use case. You can see that Michael is skeptical about it too. Okay. Yeah, I guess the reuse case makes sense. And I'm pretty sure they could also take this since it's just about adding a configurable field true. I'll tag Michael. I think those are already new issues, nothing interesting here. So I think we're done with issues for today and I'll open, um, try to open the doc again to see if anyone added anything. Okay, so no new topics. I'll just give one last chance to anyone if you want to go open floor. Otherwise, we will end for today. Okay, so thanks everyone for joining. Gave ups, thank you for the blog. Definitely on the read list for most of us. Thank you. And see you later. Thanks, everyone. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye.